welcome back to my channel it's me kia your favorite and i'm back with another video got my starbucksy drink and y'all it's monday and i'm really like a creature of habit like i just feel like i had this same drink last monday so if i have this drink like one monday i'm more likely to have it the following monday because i'm like i know i want a coffee today but i went to cafe comma yesterday as y'all saw and y'all know that's like my sunday spot <clears throat> but then i'm like mm, cafe comma is like close to my house like do i want to drive all the way to my favorite starbucks in the world because that one is probably about eight or nine minutes like from me which isn't bad but it's still like a little bit more ways away cafe comma is like five minutes and I'm like, if I drink a cafe comma today, what does that mean for Sundays? You know what I mean? Like, there has to be order in the court. You do know that, right? <laughs> Y'all saw we had a little girls, little pool kick it day. And that was fun. Like, we said that should be, like, the vibe all summer. Because, yeah, I just like to hang out, do stuff with people who I like doing stuff with. Like, or, like go to new places go on dates and so yesterday it was just a good fun day right now i'm about to go drop some paperwork off <clears throat> at the post office for my taxes because well my job i found my tax policy but i the office that i work out of is in chicago and um yeah so i had to file taxes in the state of georgia and in the state of Illinois that's what I'm on my way to do now and then I'm gonna probably swing by TJ Maxx and um, see if I find anything maybe some curtains for my room and like maybe some mirrors for that wall at first I seen them but I didn't want to commit to it but now I kind of feel like it might be my vibe and my handyman hit me up like you need something hung up girl I'm like what yes I do so yeah, I might just go check out the TJ Maxx home goods and stuff and see what they have um, for the walls and everything. Because that also would make me happy for sure. Dang it, Pixies. I am missing a flipping dipping page. So I was just going to go to the TJ Maxx. But you know, literally my house is two steps away from here. So I'm about to just go back to the house and grab this paper and come back and then go to the teaching next. But seriously, really can't. Oh. OMG, that literally just ended up being a thing and it took longer than I flopped. And now I have to call my time short and I'm going to have to come back home for my meeting. But it's fine. But if y'all really want a man, like, go to the post office. I'm telling you, there was, like, multiple young hots there. And they were, like, tall and muscular looking. And, like, they were hots. 100%. So, like, if that's your vibe, like, if that's what you're into, you need to go there. Because they all have, like, their own little cool businesses and stuff like that selling probably like some active wear street apparel or something jeez like is it that foggy like my camera's literally fogging up anyways bye in here because I just blow dry my hair as y'all can see I got a little bit of hair situation so yeah um I made this wig it's like a U part wig and um I blow dry my hair and I'm about to straighten it the flat iron is heating up yeah basically this wig is not perfect which is why i did not film it because my heart was not in it really probably what i'm going to do is just take this hair to my friend and have her make a wig for me y'all seen my um hair video where brazil did my hair probably want to have brazil make a wig for me but this week was a little bit mm, 
you know I had a little bit of extra time on my hands because I was transitioning projects so I just wanted to see like if I could do it and also you know I'm just trying to during this season you know with taxes all that kind of stuff I want to pay my car off I'm trying to get a new car and just see where that is and so I just kind of didn't want to spend like $500 on my hair like this week but probably next week I could it's probably gonna be like $500 but y'all get what I'm saying like a few hundred dollars round that up babe it's $500 it's giving a thousand dollars to get your hair done am I wrong am I wrong I don't know what the humidity is like and what it's doing and what it's gonna blend but I just wanted to protect my hair get my hair a break because it's been out for two months like that's the longest my hair has been out in its life since I've like a big chop my hair probably um well I was wearing it natural but I was wearing it straightened y'all know I got my hair straightened in January then I got it in February then I did it again so I just want my hair to kind of reset and recalibrate obviously I can't protect all of my hair because I have leave out and you know I'm not doing the lace front thing anymore at this time it's just not the look that I'm going for maybe it could potentially be revisited in the future but I just want the more natural of a hairline right now but with a natural hairline comes natural leave out and when you have natural hair back it's a situation it could really go either way so I'm gonna start with a middle part because I just like having a middle part I think that's like a good and signature look for me but depending on how things go whether whatever I can just switch it to a side part because yeah a side part is easier to maintain if y'all don't know that and it hides more like frizziness puffiness this will be the style for maybe about a week I don't know I have to see like how I feel about it because I might just take this hair in and get it done sooner than that but I tried to have faith in myself that I know how to do my hair because I kind of could do my hair I could do my hair a little bit y'all know that you do know that right so I basically did my hair and makeup in about 30 minutes this is something that I am proud of something that I can get behind 100% it's not perfect but it's definitely worthy enough to get on a little work meeting do a little chit chat and definitely run an errand or two that's for sure I'm just putting on this mascara y'all were with me when I got this mascara I went to Sephora looking for what Olaplex hair products then I ended up getting this hourglass mascara and I do love it and it doesn't like run or anything like that or like bleed so that's a vibe, 100%, 100%. Here we are. This is the look. Let's go hop on my meeting. Hey y'all, this lighting is kinda cute. I'm looking a little godly. Yeah, so I just came to my favorite African restaurant, Nigerian restaurant, it's called Toyed. Oh! <laughs> and I got a goosey stew and pound of yam, which is crazy because, oh, they hooked the sister up too. I don't even know if I can show y'all, but I'm wearing this white, eating this soupy red mess. This is what it looks like. Got a little shocky and kind of like, don't, don't, don't hate on it. Some people say it's an acquired taste, but I think it's utterly delicious. So, mm, yeah. Got my pound of yam. <laughs> pound of yam and it's about to be good i haven't had this in a while so oh it's giving reunited and it feels so good so for those of y'all who don't know do i have any pixies from nigeria or from here but are nigerian or just love nigerian food 
I'm in the car and I ain't trying to stain my nails. So I'm going to cheat a little bit. But you really eat this with your hands. What I do is I just take a little bit of the pound of the yum and I flatten it out and I make like a little a taco. This is like one of the worst things to eat in the car because it's like kind of messy. But here we are and I'm hungry. <gasps> and I got it on my skirt. What the crap? Mm, 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 mm. This food is so good. Literally, I'm wearing my favorite tan skirt and I got it on here. Dang it. I should go home and wash this out and change because I planned on going to the store. But maybe I'll just go home and chill like literally though why would i do that like why would i even that's crazy like i'm not i'm not fooling myself right now because that was wild but i might have set myself up for that with the attire and the fact that i'm eating this like this in the car man they hooked it up and this food is so good like i've had a goosey stew from other places but it's no comparison you know what? I'm gonna just go home because number one, my skirt. Number two, once I eat this, I might be trying to just chill. It kind of took me a while to do my hair because I had to make this wig and like that was a process. It took me like three, four hours and then like adding all the additions and stuff to it. So there was that. And so like, I'm just kind of tired. I feel like doing your hair is a process, which is why I try to only do it like once a month or twice a month because babe, it's a lot, 100% it's a lot. I swear y'all, <laughs> I am literally one of those people that just be like making up stuff. And then I just be like, yeah, just do this. Like I don't make it up. Like I just make it up and then I just do it. Like everything, any stain, whatever I use dish soap and like vinegar and i'm just like for sure it's gonna get it out like and that's like a deep red saucy stain and it's oil based so y'all know that's literally the worst red saucy oily saucy oil sauce like come on like that's a bit much so yeah y'all can probably hear in the wash right now i just spot treated it with that and then threw my skirt in the wash i'm about to finish this food though but i'll tell you one thing i was scrubbing on that thing scrubbing on that spot like lady Beth, i wanted that damn spot out calm down everybody you guys are are you guys theater nerds or not like lady Macbeth, out out you damn spot anyways whatever y'all today i'm just getting my life together i thought i could come to the dmv to get my car situated because if y'all don't know i've been riding dirty for like two years my car's not registered i know it's ghetto but why do we do the ghetto things that we do sometimes ghetto things happen they occur and when i was living in macon i had to hurry up and take my id picture because my birthday was coming up and my license was expiring and this was when i was like 22 and so the picture that i took it was like horrible like i had these huge chunky braids in my hair that i was just experimenting doing something they had like silver like it was just honestly a mess but i literally like had no choice and i just like had to take my picture so y'all i took a new picture and it's so cute like nobody has cute id pictures and like now i have a cute id picture like this is i don't know why i just love this because like every time i go somewhere and they got to see my id like it's so embarrassing to like show them that picture that i had so i was just like at least while i'm here because i came to the wrong place to do the real stuff that i need to do i'm like i wonder if i can just update my picture and huh, i'm out of breath because i'm like excited like what seriously it's so freaking cute i got a pie face but like girl it's so cute i'm in love uh so happy 
so yeah that's the vibe right now i'm gonna go to the tag office and see about getting my vehicle registered and then also i might have to go to court so i can pay these parking tickets but i'm really just at a stage like i'm just trying to get my life together have everything in order like i don't want to be riding dirty i don't want nothing you know over my head all that kind of stuff y'all know i'm changing my car situation together so that's the vibe today and like oh my gosh like my picture is so cute i'm so happy what all right y'all so i'm home for now i have a meeting that i need to sign in for i had to leave my car at um the auto shop it's literally been like one thing after another today like that's the type of day that it's been it's just like oh i'm trying to get this register okay but then i gotta go get this and i gotta get emissions test and he's like oh you got a light on in your car now i gotta get a whole catalytic converter like and then they had to like get all these documents and send stuff so it's literally been like one thing after another and i've been at this all day but i'm honestly happy about it because you know i'm getting everything together and everything that i need like i'm able to find somebody to do it for me i'm able to find somebody who can help me so i can just get the stuff done and get it out of the way so even though it's been one thing after another like i'm super happy and super grateful that you know the things that i do need i'm finding ways to get it done i'm finding people to help me and like honestly like i just feel really great about everything the guy who is working on my car he's really nice and he's going to try to finish it today he might not finish it today um but he said if he can finish it today he'll take it to get my emissions test for me so that like later today or you know tomorrow i can just go and finish out the process of getting my car registered so i'm really 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 happy about that and um my stepdad was able to get on the phone and talk to him because i am not the one to be dealing with these cars and car stuff like i don't like it is a lot for me sometimes so i've just had like everything lined up i got everything i needed everybody's able to help me so i'm grateful do you understand what i'm trying to say like i'm just a very grateful and i'm handling my business and oh my gosh if you ever have time to just like get your license picture updated like if you have extra time on your hands like it's literally the best thing like i feel like having a cute license picture is like a major flex next i need to get my passport updated hopefully i do get my car back today because i'm supposed to meet mira tonight for sushi but if not i'll just uber or maybe she'll be able to come scoop me and so yeah I got everything taken care of with my car. I am now a registered Georgia vehicle. And I don't know if I said this to you already, but I've really been in like such alignment this week. It's crazy. And literally the license that I got, the license plate that I got, I'm not gonna tell you all the numbers, but the numbers that's on it add up to the number 12. And 12 is my favorite number. Like, what like what are the what are the odds like i got to choose between two and then when i saw the numbers on the other one i was just like i have to have this like i'm just like omg because like yeah it's a vibe so i just came to best buy i got a new ring light so hopefully that works out because i wanted to film this like clean girl makeup routine for y'all so expect that to come soon because i really like that trend as y'all know um that's just kind of my vibe like less is more and i'm bringing out the beauty i took off the little wig that i had because the the weather here is doing a lot so i just undid my braids and i like blow dry my hair and now it's in this ponytail and i'm trying to decide if i should straighten my hair or if i should just bun it like what's the vibe like what should i do because i wanted to give my hair a little break and even just having it in those braids and just moisturize for like three days it made my hair like feel good 
and back to normal but like the humidity is kind of all over the place so i don't want to take the chance of straightening my hair and then it frizzes up and it has to be georgia because literally y'all i straighten my hair like i just went over it with the flat iron when i was back in milwaukee when i was hanging out with my parents and my hair got snowed on after we were walking out of one of the concerts literally y'all know snow is water right you do know that right yeah my hair got snowed on and it was straighter than it is when i like first straighten it and walk out of the house when i'm here in georgia so part of it is some days my hair will be straight down here the next day to just poof up and i knew it wasn't me because i'm like when was my hair ever like this just super frizzy staticky doing all of that etc stuff like i know i have you know natural hair and stuff like that but my hair can be straight stay straight get straight i think it's really just this weather so i don't want to like fight with it kind of tempted to just straighten it and see what happens and then after that i can just like put it in a bun if it's an issue or like you know do a ponytail or something I don't know I'm gonna see but I'm just kind of running some errands I might stop at the TJ Maxx maybe the Ulta and see what's up what's popping and um I have a meeting later and then maybe I'll see what Mira's doing if we want to go somewhere because it's that one restaurant that I'm always telling y'all about every Friday it's like I always want to go there but it closes at a weird time and then it reopens and we just had sushi last night and they have sushi there but I think they have other stuff like I kind of want to go so I'm gonna see what she's doing. Anyways, I've been in the car a lot in this vlog. Car vlog, calm down. I'm back from the store and I had a meeting. I just had to go get this stuff out the car. Just picked up some house stuff. Got some more velvet hangers. So I just buy these and add them in. I got these cool glass mugs. These should be cute, should be a vibe because I just wanted more mugs something moving in there and sound a little broken and i liked it i bought one new set of silverware y'all know i did a couple of months ago but it's only 20 pieces and i just need 20 more pieces like my forks and stuff they run out like way too fast for my liking and nobody's about to sit there and just be like washing stuff all the time like i want to be like minimalist and stuff but i just I need more because usually I only load my dishwasher like maybe once or twice a week. Other than that, I'll like hand wash my stuff because it's just me. It's not a lot of stuff. So yeah, I just needed more. So all of this stuff I'm showing y'all so I can unbox it and like run the dishwasher. Are these not the cutest mugs in the history of American history? Seriously, guys, you have to know that you do know that right and then this is something i've been looking for for a while so i had to snag it these black bowls i love them you can put a salad in here you can put you know a soup y'all know i like making fun noodles rice bowls grain bowls and they're just like nice a black vibe i didn't find four of them but i found three of them and i think these were only like four or five dollars each so it was a steal i had to get them so i'm excited about that and um yeah so i got three of these and i'm not mad at it i'm definitely not mad at it so happy about that also i got a new ring light and they said my skins is out for delivery i wanted to have that video up already but you know like it's cool like in due time um i just picked this up from best buy and it's a 19 inch and so we'll see i do plan on getting more lighting but i just needed like something to kind of like enhance the situation because the lighting has been a little rickety shaky my camera was like broken with the little adapter thing that goes on here and that ring light is just done honey i wish it was unpluggable though that's what i forgot i wanted a cordless ring light for my next ring light but you know it's cool i can still get one it comes with everything a long stand and stuff so this should hold me over until i'm able to you know do what i need to do ma'am where do i know you from ma'am hey pixies calm down 
Sorry to wipe off my phone, but um, me and the mirror bear are at uh, Mandolin Kitchen because she wanna smoke coca. Don't tell them that. I told them. Because someone is going to have to hold you accountable. You have a village behind you that is working for you. We're all working for you. You know what I'm saying? So, like, y'all, it ain't nothing wrong with hookah. I might like, take a little puff puff. But, you know, I was delivered from that hookah lifestyle. But we're here right now just chilling, vibing. Y'all know I'll be in the house on Friday nights. Isn't this crazy? Oh, my gosh. For sure. Tell you, think I need to tell you Really wanna tell you, I just gotta tell you Girl, I gotta tell you, I just wanna Welcome to Kia and Mira's Cheesecake Test Extravaganza With my special guest, Mira Who's Happy going to hours. eat all of the cheesecake <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so we have... Faces that are clear of the makeup and products, bonnets, okay, and we have the cheesecake. So we have strawberry. So let me start over here because you'll understand why I'm starting over here. So right here we have coconut cheesecake. Right here we have Godiva chocolate cheesecake. Should I open them so like you guys can see the cheesecake? So yes, this is Godiva chocolate cheesecake, all from the Cheesecake Factory. Then there's this tiramisu cheesecake, and then there's Mira's strawberry cheesecake. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mira wanted that, so I was just like, okay, like add it to the telly, you know? Because I'm just like, it's cool. I understand. I love strawberry cheesecake. Like I make strawberry cheesecake, but it's literally just cheesecake with like that strawberry. One strawberry. <laughs> it's not really like. So I told her like that's her vibe. Cause that's what you want it. Yeah. Mm, that's not really like that's not like where my calories are going. You do yeah, know that, yeah, right? Yeah, I, I understand. I understand. And I'll stay and over it's, here and with it's, my cheese. Yeah, cake. that's why yeah. so the reason is like I put them all out because obviously it's a cheesecake it's a buffet. Order, though. Just so you guys know. It's just not even like it's just I put that one by her because that's just not my vibe. I just wanted her to enjoy that because she wanted it. Like, I just want to know, when do I become a friend that gets a name on your HBO, you know, situation? I mean, just add yourself <laughs> to it. Like, put yourself on the account. Like, like are I you really you watching should. Family Matter? <laughs> like, is this what you really do? show! This is what you do? Or you're on days, you sit here and watch Philly. <laughs> but before I go to bed. You're just like, yeah, let me just days go back. Baby, let me tell you. Think I need to tell you. Really wanna tell you. I just gotta tell you. Girl, I gotta tell you. I just wanna Let me say I've never known a love like before i know it's yours so, don't mind me looking a little cray cray it's fine calm down everybody yeah so i'm editing this video and i'm gonna close the vlog out have a date kind of excited for the date so i kind of need to hurry up and do my makeup and my hair and all that kind of stuff um and get ready and leave the house but it's been great this has been a great vlog thank y'all so much so so much for tuning into this video please do not get to like comment and subscribe follow me kia on instagram at kia carry moo and yeah i hope it's been fun i'll catch y'all in my next video bye, bye.